Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So what I want to show you guys today is the timing factor that you guys can change to get your cycle time that shows up in your simulation to match exactly what you are showing on your machine itself. So what I mean by that is if you come in here and let's do a simulate, play this through, uh, we have a cycle time of two minutes and seven seconds. Well, maybe um, that isn't matching exactly what's on your machine. So how do we go about changing that? Well, it's fairly easy. So what you want to do is open up your post files, and then you're going to want to look right for this exact post right up here, the gmailing underscore Haas, if you're using that post, um, in your folder right here. So if you open that up and find your post file or your uh, VMID file, um, go ahead and double click on that and click on the working style tab right here and click on the timing. Now right over here is the timing factor. So what this is saying is it's one for one right now. So um, our one is our kind of our nominal number. So let's say our cycle time, you know, that we simulated here is two minutes, but maybe on the machine it's four minutes. So easy enough, we can just do a time factor of two on there. So you just take that number, it times it by two, or, you know, it's going to double it, and it will change up your cycle time. So let's just switch this over real quick. We'll just do 2.0. And we'll save, save this out real quick. And now what I want to now what I want to do is shut down the part file and reopen everything. So open up that part file again. And now when we go to simulate this, you'll see our cycle time doubled. So it's kind of one for one. Um, you know, and you can do this in the reverse way as well. Maybe the cycle time is showing longer in your simulation time, but your machine is actually able to run it faster. You guys can put this at a smaller than uh, one factor. So, um, so in that case, what you could do is do a 0.1, and that would uh, move that machine factor down. So that's kind of how you guys can figure out the, the timing factor and get that, that uh, simulation time a little bit closer. And, of course, if you guys have any questions with this as well, definitely give us, give us a call and um, we'll be able to get this straightened out for you guys as well. So just want to show you guys that for your tip of the day today, and I hope you guys have a great uh, long weekend, and we will talk to you guys next week. See you guys. Bye-bye.